you're just out running doing your action thing got your DJI action 2 with you and whoops oh, oh. let's see it that was a that felt really hard uh and So I've been thinking about it and I think pimping for like for real, I think I'm going for it. I found the owners of the boat. I'm gonna contact them and see if I can rent it to make video. So if you just happen to see me making videos on this coffee boat, don't be looking confused. <laughs> okay, let's talk about one of my favorite cameras, the DJI. Action 2. The DJI Action 2 is for real like one of my favorite cameras because to be real, it is a really good camera. The quality of it is balls. The modular design and technology, balls. Then you got the form factor and the magnets, balls. But if I'm keeping it real pimping, there have been some cons with the DJI Action 2. Ooh, I'm looking a little scruffy. Some of which have been fixed in firmware updates, but some, but then others that kind of can't be fixed with firmware updates. And I'm talking about mainly just two things. First one being the price, Pimping, I don't care what nobody say, I do think 519 for this is a bit steep. But again, I have been seeing it on sale, so pimping, get it on sale. Do not spend 519 on this. And then the next one has to be that it does feel a bit delicate. Like, don't get me wrong, it is very well built, but it feels like delicate in the sense of like, a cell phone delicate, which is a bit weird considering it is supposed to be an action camera. But hold up pimping because I'm looking to fix that Today. Okay, quick side note, even though the box says cool blue on it, this stuff is not from cool blue. Small rear cage for the DJI Action 2s, another small rear cage just for the Action 2s camera, magnetic case, which I've already kind of touched on before, so We'll skip this one. And then two magnetic mounts. Now, they look the same, but Pimpin hold up, cause they not. One of them is actually a magnetic charging mount. Yes, Pimpin Small Rig did it, and they did the dang thing and brought a charging mount for the DJI Action 2. And then lastly, we have some ND filters. Thanks to Small Rig for sending me all this stuff. Yes, they did send it to your boy Sky Money for free, but Pippin, don't get it twisted. Y'all already know, we on that Wi-Fi. They don't have any say in the video. So if this stuff suck, I'm gonna tell you they suck. Cause y'all know how thugs do. Simpin ain't Pippin. <laughs> but yeah, huge thanks to Small Rig for sending this stuff because I actually hit them up. So huge thanks to them. And if you look in the cop, any other drip, no, your boy Sky Money got you. The links will be down below. And I'm running back, Pippin, I gotta say that everything feels very well built and well made, and also very well thought out. For example, Pippin, when you look at these two mounts, you'll notice that you have the GoPro legs that flip out for anything GoPro that you might have, but then also you can flip these legs back in and it has a quarter inch thread at the bottom. Bottles. And the same thing goes for the magnetic charge mount, which Let's get to that right now. This one actually might be my favorite accessory. Because Pippin, no longer do you need the mod just to charge the camera. Now you can take the mod off, connect it with this mount, and then just plug a USB type C in and you good to go. Tell me that's not gang. And then just like this mount, you also getting the flippy out GoPro legs as well as the quarter inch thread at the bottom. Balls. And then remember that problem I had earlier with the DJI Action 2 being sorta kind of, but really delicate, kind of feel like a cell phone kind of delicate feel. That's where these babies come in handy. One just for the camera, and then one for both the camera and the mod. Both of them have hot shoes, as well as quarter inch threads on the sides of them. And like, very simple to use. Pop the door open, slide the camera and pimpin, close the door, boom, you Gucci. And what I like about the small rear cage, just for the camera itself, is that you're still getting the data and power magnetic little strip thingy, so you can still connect it to the mod. That's gay stuff. <laughs> and if you need to, Pippin, you can also connect it to one of these magnetic mounts and it is very solid. Bows. <laughs> and as I said before, the big one also comes with hot shoe mounts. It actually has two hot shoe mounts, one on the bottom, one on the side, and then you're also getting the GoPro little 
flippy legs as well as the quarter inch three. And now these also come with little mounts at the bottom that you can use for a GoPro mount. You just gotta kind of screw it in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now for real, I am really digging the cage. It does make it feel a little bit more secure, but if I'm real, I do feel a little hesitant still just because all of this is still like, it's it's not poking out further. Uh, like, you know what I mean? Like if I drop it, the screens are still exposed as well as the lid. But do these things work? Do these cages and all this other stuff help protect your drip? And your boy Sky Money got an idea. Matter of fact, we doing a drop test. And if it goes bad, y'all already know what to do. Hit up DJI ASAP, hit them up. Like we gotta collectively join together and hit them up because I'm gonna need another DJI Action 2 if this goes south. Indie filters, scotch tape. And now, Pimpin, I do not recommend doing this to your DJI Action 2. Let's go ahead and do this drop test and see how this case holds up. Okay, we are on the Sony a7S III. I did bring the Sony ZV-1. The only reason I'm not on it, I'm actually gonna use that one as a second camera so that we can see when we drop. Oh, oh, shoot, hold on. Uh, first, first drop. All right, that was the first drop of the DJ Action 2. And uh, yeah, it's a, little, it's, it's, it's a little scuffy, but it's good on the case only. On the case, that's important to note. Um, let's do some more. All right, so far I've dropped it a couple of times and man, where else can I drop this thing? Like, I feel like it needs to fall from somewhere really high, even though to be realistic, it's not gonna fall from anywhere that high, most likely just from your pocket or something like that. But yeah, I mean, see if we can find something high to drop this off. Still holding on, man. I wonder if I drop it from like. All right. All right, I think we got our first crack, but I think it might be just the screen protector, I think. It's like right there. Oops. It's right there. And I actually think that <laughs> me doing a protection with the ND filter it was the problem. <laughs> okay, that last fall, that, that last one was a big one. I mean, I, the screen cracked a little bit, but I think it's just the screen protector. And honestly, I think that's my fault for putting the ND filter on the screen. <laughs> but I didn't, look, I didn't want to risk it, all right? I just didn't. Like, I'm just not ready to be bashing my gear on purpose and then replacing it. I'm not, I'm not about that life yet, you know? I got a limited amount of things, all right? <laughs> limited amount of funds, I should say. <laughs> but when I, I when I do get to that level, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be dropping things left and right. Feel good. <laughs> All right, so what's weird about this whole dropping test is that the lens is not touching at all, no matter how I drop this thing. Like I could just throw it, I've just tipped it over, I've dropped it from the building, and for some reason, the screen is still like intact. Like even the ND filter is not scratched. So what in the world is going on? Uh, the case is so banged up though, like for real. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, um, yeah, it's a pretty good cage, man, small rig. Good job. Like now again, I do have to, I do gotta say it. Do not go out and try this at home on your own dime. Don't do it, Pimp. <laughs> I do not recommend it. Wow, it is a freaking beautiful day. Holy cow, man. And it's nice too, geez, like nice as in like, it's not too cold, wow. <laughs> Don't 
This time, no ND filters on it. <laughs> just, just the main one that's covering the lens. But still, yeah, nothing. <laughs> All right, you know what? I kind of feel like there's like one more test we should do with, when it comes to dropping because when I dropped it, I was on my bicycle, but I don't have a bike right now. So I think we should just go ahead and run. All right, so you're just out running, doing your action thing. You got your DJI Action 2 with you and whoops. Oh, oh. Let's see it. Let's check it. That was a, that felt really hard. Uh, and still, <laughs> still good, still good. Now, like I said, the screen protector did crack from the ND filter, but still good. Ooh, look at, look at that. Look at that part right there, right there. Wow, jeez. Well, I think that concludes the drop test of the DJI Action 2 with the small rig cage. Yeah, it's, it's solid. Right, now, although I did try to like foolproof it, like I tried to pimp it out like for real, like ghetto style with indie filters. <laughs> I put the indie filters on the screens. I mean, to be real, you didn't really need to. I, yeah, I think it caused more harm than like, than like helping the actual camera. But I will say, yeah, it's, it held up. The, the cage itself is actually really good. Like I dropped it so many times, but no scratches on the screens, no scratches, not even a scratch on the back of the battery module or the, the, the screen module, nothing right there. But you see a ton of scratches right here as well as the top and this side. And yeah, that's, um, that, that, that's boss. You can see that crack right there from when the ND filter hit the screen. Like I'm pretty sure it's just the screen protector though, but you know what? Let's stop somewhere and let's check. Overall though, <laughs> small rig <laughs> like I look I was pimping I was worried but yeah I mean it it did great small rig great 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 job with these cages because they actually help <laughs> Oh man, so I walked by this place and this place was for sale and it is sold already. That was extremely quick. <laughs> All right, I have to ask though, what did you guys think of the drops? Did I not drop it high enough? Like I literally dropped it from like, like a back house. So I think that's pretty high. But let me know, what did you guys think? What did you guys think about the drops? What did you guys think about DJ Action 2? What did you guys think about the small rig cage? Personally, I think it helped just because I've dropped it without it and yeah, it didn't, yeah. <laughs> but then I gotta know, what do you guys think? <laughs> All right, now that we found a place, let's see if the rear screen cracked because <laughs> I don't know. So let's see, well, let's take it out of this cage. No damage to the lens, actually no damage to the ND filter as well. It is pretty scruffed up right there, but yeah, pimping, that's about it. I am a little nervous, but you know what? Like I'm a boss, like I'm a thug, so. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but the screen, it was just the screen protector. See, you put it on like that. You can see it right there. It's all good. <laughs> I was nervous, pimp. I was nervous. <laughs> oh wait, hold up, pimpin', pimpin'. We forgot to see if it works. <laughs> we did all that dropping, but we didn't see if it actually turns on. Yep, still good. We good, we pimpin', we Gucci. Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm so happy that the screen wasn't cracked. Like, DJI is not on my email list. Like, they ain't send me nothing. So, the fact that that screen was not cracked, <laughs> like, I couldn't show it at the restaurant, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs>